Hi everyone, this is Tanner from Smart Fantasy Baseball and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a web query in Excel which is basically a way to take a uh, table of data that you find on a website and automatically link that into Excel and it's a pretty neat thing because if the data that on the website changes this link is set up in such a way that your Excel file will also update for those changes. So the first thing that we've got to do is to uh, find information on a website that we can easily pull in to Excel and you're looking for a table of information and so I'm at brooksbaseball.net looking at Jose Fernandez's um, usage and outcomes data so this gives me broken out by month the percentage of pitch type usage that he has in each month and it's this information down at the bottom that's in a table format that I want to pull into Excel and this web query will work with any kind of a table that you find so this here is what I'm going to try to pull in so I'm going to launch Excel here and start a brand new Excel file and to set up this link we're going to go under the uh, data tab and this is in Excel 2010 or 2007 and I'm going to click the from web and what I want to do then is go grab the website address for the table that I want to pull in copy that and paste it into the web query and hit go and you might get an error or two when this is loading but the end result here is that in this web query interface the web page will load and you want to look for the table that you want to pull in and any table that is able to be pulled in will have this little yellow arrow next to it you'll just check off that that's the table you want to import and go ahead and say import and then you'll get this question here do you want to put the data in an existing worksheet or in a new one um, make your selection based on whatever you're looking for there I'm just gonna pull it right in here and hit OK you'll get a message that it's going out and grabbing the data for you we'll let that load and then you can see here that that has now pulled into Excel and if I load this table up here, so we've got, you know, in April 57.18 for the four seam, 44 point, or 4.46 percent for the sinker, and so on and so forth. And that's really all there is to setting this up. And I'll talk about some more advanced things you can do with this in another episode. Thanks.